Welcome to a video where we're going to take a few minutes just to look at the key concept of gross national income or GNI. So what is gross national income? Well, it is basically the total amount of money earned by a nation's, a country's people and businesses in a given period. That's usually a year. Gross national income. Now, how is gross national income calculated? Well, essentially, it's very similar to GDP. Uh, so gross national income is gross domestic product plus the net income from overseas of the compensation or the rewards to employees and property income. So essentially, uh, GNI is different for countries, particularly uh, differs from their GDP, particularly if they have plenty of uh, people who are living and working overseas who send their money back to the country of origin, and also if they have significant overseas investments. So here's some of the key factors adding to GNI for some countries. Uh, income from working remittances, we'll talk about that in a second. And remittances are the money that uh, people earn overseas, living and working overseas, and they send back to the country of origin. Uh, they can generate income from interest on bonds and savings held overseas. Income from dividends on the profits of investments from overseas. And also, critically, overseas aid transfers, especially the countries with a low per capita income. If we think about remittances, uh, here's a good example. Latin America, Mexico, way out ahead in terms of uh, a country that's in Latin America receiving the, huge, the biggest um, uh, inflows of remittances each year. 51 billion Dollars. Our picture here shows agricultural seasonal farm workers in uh, California. In 2021, nearly, nearly, nearly half a million extra Mexican migrants in the United States, typically concentrated in construction, hospitality and leisure, as well as farming. And much of that income, of course, is sent back to Mexico. Uh, in sub-Saharan Africa, Nigeria leads the way in terms of the value of remittances, just under 20 billion US dollars in 2021. And actually, if we measure as a share of GDP, which is perhaps the best guide to the scale of remittances, it's the Gambia, uh, which receives uh, the highest, 27%, South Sudan, Somalia, Lesotho, and Comoros, all receiving very, very high percentages of their national income. Another good example is Ghana. Uh, 6.8 million people living below the poverty line in Ghana. The money coming in to Ghana from uh, overseas is a big factor helping to reduce uh, extreme poverty reduction, allowing families to spend more on food, on health and education. So GNI uh, tends to be higher for those countries with overseas people living and working overseas, sending money back, and also in countries where there are significant foreign investments. These are the countries in the world uh, that have the highest gross national income. Liechtenstein, well, way out in front, very, very small, essentially a principality. But in terms of sizable countries, Singapore, Qatar, Ireland figures in the top uh, five nations for GNI per capita, Switzerland, the United States and Norway. Uh, the UK comes in, I think, at a GNI of around $45,000 per capita. You can just see it right at the top of the chart there, just ahead of South Korea. And these are the countries with the lowest GNI per capita. Burundi, according to the 2022 um, Human Development Index, had a per capita income of just over $730 GNI per capita. And these, all of these countries have a per capita income of less than $1,500 per year. This is in, expressed in real terms at constant 2017 prices. So clearly these countries are the poorest in the world by using this measure. GNI per capita. By the way, GNI has gradually replaced GDP in many international statistics. So, uh, overview, uh, gross national income, GNI, is an alternative to gross domestic product as a measure of wealth. It calculates income instead of the value of output. And typically nations or countries that have big foreign investments, foreign corporate presence or foreign aid, and large numbers of workers living and working overseas will show a significant difference between their GNI and their GDP. So this is hopefully a useful little introduction to you if you get data in an exam on gross national income. Thanks for joining in. Stay happy. Stay positive. See you sometime soon.